There were many reasons why a man might be forced into such a desperate act, but there was little point in speculation. They needed answers. Facts. Evidence. The door to the interrogation room opened, and a somber Doc Pascal emerged. John, do you have the suspect's prints? With a grim nod, he handed the chief a tablet device. The chief passed it to Lacey. Run them. Lacey took the tablet and headed to her cubicle, grateful to have something productive to do. Within minutes, she had a match. The suspect's name was Noah Hall. Lacey ran a search through the LexisNexis database and printed the results. The chief settled a pair of heavy-rimmed reading glasses onto his nose as he took the sheet from her grasp. Noah Hall, 27 years old, lives in southeast Portland. Says he works for Blue Line Security. No record. No registered weapons. Applied with the Portland Police Bureau earlier this year. A theft ring, maybe? Extortion? Lacey mused out loud, ruminating on the possible reasons why a security guard might take his own life. Maybe. He stole a car and a few sets of plates. He was transporting a stolen gun. Maybe he's behind the ring of house thefts in Bellingham. Tipping his palms skyward, the chief shrugged his broad shoulders. They were grasping at straws, but what else did they have? Drugs, maybe? I'll give Portland a call. They'll want to check his place and see what they can find. In the meantime, let's keep working on what we've got. The car. I'm on it, Lacey said. Quincy, the head of their two-person forensics team, answered her call. He looked like a high school student, rail thin with straight sandy hair and Harry Potter glasses. Everything about Quincy brought out the high school bully in Spencer, but Lacey liked him. He was smart, thorough, with a quirky sense of humor and a love of classic movies. 